Connie from The Painted Photographer. Did you ever go to a store and just search for inspiration for something else to craft? I do. I went to Hobby Lobby the other day and I seen faux ceiling tiles. You know, the metal ones that have all the raised edges. And I thought they were so cool. I'm gonna show you some pictures here. I got myself some JRV stencils. Is that backwards? I think so. Anyway, this is what the stencil looks like. And this one, this one, and this one. We need a supply list. I use spackling. We need, I use a paint palette knife. It's nice and flat. This one, a five by five board. This is a 12 by 12 canvas board. And I marked out the center. Here's my four pieces of five and a half square boards. And I'll do one at a time. I'm not gonna tape, tape it down because I live on the edge. Center it as best you can. Take your spackling. I'm gonna hold it down with my hand. Take your spackling and drag it on this stencil. And then take it off. There it is, raised up. Now you don't wanna wash this down your sink. So scrape as much off as you can. Spackling down your sink is not good. We're back. When the plaster dries, it turns white. Then we're gonna paint a little black dress. This is DIY, Debbie's Design Diary, in little black dress. Now that they're painted all black, I don't want that to come off when we put the next color on. So we're going to seal it in with DIY's liquid patina. When you want the base color to stay put, seal it. I'm going to use the DIY sampler brush. It's really one of my favorites because it fits nicely inside and put it right over the top sealing that little black dress right in. It goes on with a little bit of a white look, but it will dry clear.
I love to find inspiration in many things. So whenever you're looking for inspiration to make something or a color, don't just look at the obvious. Look all around you, because you never know when you're gonna find it. After the liquid patina dries, it dries clear. Now whatever paint we put over the top will not peel back anything except that black paint. So you won't see the white plaster of Paris, you won't see the wood board, it'll just be the black. I use a baby wipe to distress the DIY paint off. And uh, since we sealed the black in with liquid patina, it will not come off. You can distress the ceiling tile as much as you want or as little as you want. After you get them all painted and distressed the way you want, we have to seal them. So I use the DIY clear wax the brush, and the black wax. If you put the clear wax on first, it will act as a barrier so you can manipulate that dark wax a little bit better. Now you're gonna take the black wax and put it all over the ceiling tile. The black wax is going to get down inside those recessed areas. And when you go to wipe it off, it changes the color just a little bit and ages it for you. And then also stays inside those recessed areas for a little bit of depth. If you'd like a little bit more of that black wax to be removed off your white, take your clear wax, put it on a small rag, and then wipe it back over the very top of your ceiling tile. And it acts as an eraser and removes some of that black. Then I took the clear wax and added a little bit of copper pennies from Heaven from DIY and mixed those two together and then put that on for a little sparkle of metal. Thank you for watching DIY A Go Go. If you need any paint, head on over to thepaintyphotographer.com. If you like this video, please head on over to the Painty Photographer YouTube channel and hit the subscribe and the like button. I really appreciate it. And until next time, happy painting.